So Juliana had talked about the World Dakota Project. And I, as you might gather my, by my total lack of knowledge of geography, am not a social studies teacher, but I teach math. And one of the things I like about this project is there are some very good cross-curricular math lessons here. So if you go into the OSEU exemplar lessons, right here I picked uh, 2018 Todd County Middle School OSEU because obviously I teach middle school. And one thing that confused me at first is when these are like one, two, three, it has nothing to do with grades. It just is the first, second, third lesson that happens to be there. So here's an example. If you click on the right, it'll download it. If you click on the left, it will bring the lesson up. This one is my favorite. So you can get it by going to the exemplar lessons, picking Todd County Middle School lessons. And I think it's the third one. There, yes. So the question, what are the sacred sites of the Ochai Shakuin and where are they located? And then here, this is the kind of math that you should be doing in sixth or seventh grade. Uh, finding integrals and rational numbers on a number line diagram, finding pairs of integers on a coordinate plane. I didn't know, and this is why it's really useful if you look down here, it gives the answers. It's not assuming as a teacher, and I'm presuming a lot of teachers they are teaching in South Dakota aren't necessarily from there. I know Juliana has done a lot of research on allies and teachers on the reservation who are not Lakota. So if you expect me to know where the sacred sites are, you are going to be sadly mistaken. So it gives information about where you would find the sacred sites, what they are below on the featured sources. And then for students, it's got a three-day, I mean, a lot of teachers really like things in units where it's not just, oh, today we talked about Lakota and integers and tomorrow, or and coordinate pairs, and tomorrow we're talking about something else. So I like the fact that it's a multiple day lesson. It uses a grid map. So it's combining both social studies, geography, reading maps with math, reading things on an X and Y axis. So I think that is super cool. It has tasks like calculating the rate of speed in miles per hour. So yeah, it asks questions for each day. And this, it, to my mind, is a great example of cross-curricular lessons because this question I get all the time, well, it sounds great to include math and social studies, you know, Chinese shockwing standards, but how do you do that? And here the standard is recalling the sacred sites, creation storage, stories, how they relate to each other, when we start at the very beginning, talking about relating to students' experience and asking the questions, you know, how many of you been to Bear Butte? How many have been to Devil's Tower? You know, I've been to some of these places. So right away, you get kids saying, well, I've been there. They, if they're middle school, the sixth graders tend to be cuter than the eighth graders who are too cool for school. They will tell you a story about their old family and when they went, but it's sparking students' attention. It's relating to ICU standards. And it's relating to math standards in a way that is not just tacked on. So I love this because neither math part of it nor the OSU standards are just tacked on. It all goes together in one integrated lesson. So I think it's awesome. And it addresses the OSU standard culture and language. <laughs> and they mentioned this is how you know it was done with somebody in South Dakota or North Dakota. Ten, the plan is tenderly based on student performance and schedule changes due to the weather, because we all know about school being closed because of blizzards and ice. And so that is just an example of one of the lessons that you can find on the Walla Coda site that integrates OSUs. And you can see that it's got maps, it's got links to again, another interview with Dwayne Hollow Horn Bear. So you have primary sources linked in there. So that's just something that I wanted to share going on with what uh, Juliana talked about, that it connects to student experience, that it has the answers included. I hate that when I get something that, that I'm expected to know whether it's, I mean, for math, as a math teacher, you can expect me to know how to find coordinates on an XY plane. You can't expect me to know what the seven sacred sites are. So I thought that was super awesome. Be sure to come back for the last video of this workshop session where you can see 
the game that we're working on using primary sources and OSEU standards.